everyone! For today's video, we're going to study continuous and repeating patterns. Serena volunteered to clean the living room. Her mother asked her to continue arranging the picture frames displayed on the wall following a specific pattern. What will be the shape of the next picture frame? Since the items in the pattern repeat, this shows a repeating pattern. The items in a pattern are called terms. It is easy to predict what comes next in a given pattern. In the set of picture frames, the pattern shows one circle frame followed by a two square, then one circle frame followed by a two square. What do you think is the next term? That's correct, children! We're going to have a circle frame. Very good! So again, this is what we call a repeating pattern. When you say repeating pattern, it is a pattern that repeats themselves over and over again according to a certain rule. How about if we are going to arrange these pillows? What do you think will be the next pillow? That's correct, children! We're going to have a pink pillow. So this pattern is what we called a repeating pattern. Always remember, repeating pattern is a pattern that repeats themselves over and over again according to a certain rule. So now, children, let's help Sarina arrange the vase. Sarina arranged sets of flowers in six vases. How many flowers should there be on the sixth vase? So let's count the flowers in each vase. We have one. On the second one, we have two, three, four, five. So how many flowers are there on the sixth vase? Very good, children! We're going to have six flowers. This pattern is what we call the continuous pattern. When you say continuous pattern, it is a pattern where something is added in the terms every time the sequence repeats. Again, this is what we call the continuous pattern. How about if I have this? So on the first term, we have two boxes. On the second term, we have four boxes. On the third term, we have six boxes. And on the fourth term, we have eight boxes. So children, what do you think or how many boxes do we have in the fifth term? Very good! We're going to have ten boxes. Good job! This pattern is what we call the number pattern. Number patterns are also continuous patterns. They may be increasing or decreasing. Again, this is what we call the number pattern. This one, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 is what we call sequence. Sequence is a pattern of numbers that are formed according to a definite rule. So again, this is a sequence. Is that clear? So how about if we have this? 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. What do you think will be the next two terms? In able to find the next two terms, we need to identify first the order of the numbers. What do you think is the order of the numbers? Is it increasing or decreasing? That's correct, children! The sequence is in increasing order. Next, let's find out the difference between two consecutive numbers. When you say two consecutive terms, it is the numbers that are next to each other. Okay, so now let's find the difference of 3 and 5. Always remember children, when you are subtracting, big number first followed by a smaller number. So we have 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then let's subtract 7 and 5. 7 minus 5 equals 
Oh, very good. How about 9 minus 7 equals? That's correct. It's 2. How about 11 minus 9 equals? 2. And lastly, how about 13 minus 11 equals? Two, very good. So as you can see, the difference between two consecutive terms is always two. So that means to find the next term, we need to add two on 13. Since it is increasing order, always remember children, if the order of the numbers is increasing, you are going to add the difference of the two consecutive terms on the last term to find the next missing term. Is that clear? So we have 13 plus 2 equals, that's correct, it's 15. So the first missing term is 15. How about the next one? So we're going to add 2 to 15. 15 plus 2 equals Good job, children! It's 17. So our missing terms are 15 and 17. Very good. So how about if we have this? 65, 55, 45, 35, 25. So what do you think are the missing terms? Again, let's find out the order of the numbers. Is it increasing or decreasing? That's correct. It's decreasing. Next, let's find the difference between two consecutive terms. 65 minus 55 equals 10. Very good. How about 55 minus 45? It's 10. How about 45 and 35? It's also 10. How about 35 and 25? Good job, that is 10. As you can see, the difference between two consecutive terms is 10. So now, let's find out the next term. Children, remember, it is decreasing order, right? So we're going to subtract 10 to the last term. So we have 25 minus 10 equals... Very good, it's 15. So the first missing term is 15. How about the last missing term? We have 15 minus 10 equals... That's correct, it's 5. So our last term is 5. So we have 65, 55, 45, 35, 25, 15, and 5. Always remember... We have repeating pattern. Repeating pattern is a pattern that repeats themselves over and over again according to a certain rule. For example, clouds, heart, star, clouds, heart, star, cloud. Also, we have what we call the continuous pattern. It is a pattern where something is added in the terms every time the sequence repeats. For example, we have this. As you can see, the circle becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And the last one, we also have what we call the number pattern. Number patterns are also continuous patterns. They may be increasing or decreasing. Always remember children how to find the next term in the number pattern. The first thing that you need to do is... To find the difference between the two consecutive terms. Then, if it is increasing, you're gonna add. But if it is decreasing, you're going to subtract. For example, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. This is increasing pattern. And 27, 24, 21, 18. This is decreasing. Is that clear? So now, it's your turn. Get your drill board. Using your drill board, I want you to identify if the given pattern is repeating or continuous. Are you ready? Let's have the first one. Is it repeating or continuous? The correct answer is 
continuous pattern because as you can see the numbers of apples become bigger and bigger that's why it is a continuous pattern how about if we have this is it repeating or continuous That's correct, children! It is continuous pattern. How about if we have this? Is it repeating or continuous? Very good! It is a repeating pattern! Because as you can see, the terms are sad, happy, angry, sad, happy, angry, sad, happy. That is a repeating pattern. So now, let's identify the next two terms in the given pattern. Are you ready, kids? So let's have the first one. What do you think is the missing term? So let's see if your answer is correct. The first missing term is 6 cookies. And the last term is 4 cookies. Very good children. We have 12, 10, 8, 6, Four. So this is a continuous pattern, right? How about if we have this? 4, 7, 10, 13, blank, blank. What do you think are the next two terms? Let's find out if your answer is correct. The first missing term is 16. And the last missing term is 19. Always remember, children, how to find the missing terms in a number pattern. The first thing that you need to do is to find the difference of the two consecutive terms. We have 7 minus 4 equals 3. Then, all you need to do since the sequence is in increasing order, you're going to add 3 to the last term, which is 13. 13 plus 3 equals 16. Then add 3 to 16. 16 plus 3 equals 19. That's why our missing terms are 16 and 19. Is that clear? How about if we have this? 120, 180, 60, blank, blank. What do you think are the missing terms? Let's find out if your answer is correct. The first missing term is 40. And the last missing term is 20. So always remember children, in able to find the missing terms in the number pattern, all you need to do is to find the difference of the two consecutive terms. So let's find out 120 minus 100, that is equal to 20. Then, since our sequence is in decreasing order, so we're going to subtract 20 to 60. So 60 minus 20 equals 40. Then, 40 minus 20 equals 20. That's why our missing terms is 40 and 20. That's all for today, children. I hope you learned something. Bye!